dancer. I knew nothing but music. I came up as a baby in an orange crate behind the piano my mother played. I was born in Middletown, Ohio, born and raised on a carnival, one of 12. With my mother and father, we had a family band that we had a minstrel show on the carnival for many years. I never lived in a house. We lived in tents and trailers. I never got a coal until I moved into a house. My father made us all what we were, and he taught us all everything we knew. But my father ruled with an iron fist. And when he said, learn that, that's what you did. My father believed that if you were a black person and you could perform, you could always get a job. He was not a great lover of jazz. He was a great lover of swing. When I was three years old, my dad put you out on stage and said, do something. I wiggled a lot. My brother Slide Hampton is a master of the trombone. My brother Maceo is a preacher. We didn't have plain names. You had names to grow up to. When my brothers came back from the service, I started playing alto saxophone. I was a band leader for many, many years. I started singing, I think, when I was eight or nine. We played Carnegie Hall, we played the Apollo, we played the Savoy. We were the only boy and girl band at that time on the road. We had a boxing act, which many times ended up fighting. If I hit him too hard, and he hit me too hard, it became very serious. But we all danced, we all sang, we all played. I spoke the Gettysburg Address on stage when I was seven. I hung out with a bunch of drag queens. I knew some of the greatest drag queens in the world but they taught me everything I knew about dressing, about makeup, and about performing. Swing is from the higher power. Because I think the people do not understand the spirituality that's associated with swing dancing. That's when you be a lot less stress, a lot less hate, a lot less people not be able to get along if they dance more. See, there are people, there are religions that are so against dance, it's unbelievable. But if they would, like I say, read their Bible, they will find out when God moved the Ark of the Covenant, he had dancers in front of it. And I didn't say they were swing dancing, but they were dancing. I really want you to love the dance, to love the music, to love yourself. I want to help you find the dancer in you. I want you to feel the music. I want you to feel the beat. You are blessed and I want you to know that yesterday, today, tomorrow, I love you. God bless you. Thank you.